Um, as you're all aware, of course, at Oshkosh, we released uh, our first aircraft in our lineup of uh, uh, our Plan 5 total, uh, which was the 700S. Uh, it's been doing very well since Oshkosh, with some 13 on the registry now in five months. And uh, actually, this airplane, uh, of course, uh, of Czech design, and our friends uh, Peter and Merrick Cobert from Vanessa Air who uh, are the designers of this aircraft, but are also the designers of uh, many of the Czech aircraft that you see around the show site today, including the Sting Sport, the Fantasy Air Allegro, the Lombada and Samba, and many others here. Um, their experience uh, in uh, aircraft design, particularly in the uh, composite arena, is well known throughout the Czech Republic. And uh, this is the pinnacle of their design efforts in an aircraft that uh, they designed for themselves. This aircraft maintains, uh, they, design, they maintain the design rights for this aircraft and uh, they are as motivated as we are to pr produce these airplanes and sell them in the U.S. Uh, because that's how they get paid. So it's a wonderful relationship. Uh, the aircraft has been fantastic and it's been a long time coming. We started on this project nearly two years ago and uh, we finally were able to bring the aircraft to fruition here at Sebring. This aircraft that Gobosh introduced this morning is definitely an advanced design in the light sport category. For starters, this is an all composite aircraft, correct? Yeah, this is an all composite airplane. It's uh, got a composite fuselage, com uh, carbon fiber construction throughout, and uh, composite gear. Let's talk a little bit about the um, advancements over the G700, and that's some, certainly nothing against the G700, but this aircraft will have a couple of features not available in the all-metal aircraft. Uh, for starters, this aircraft has a parachute. Yeah, this aircraft comes uh, complete with a Galaxy a Rescue System parachute as standard, and it's uh, located just behind the aft bulkhead where you, you sit in front of it, and uh, the deployment handle is right down on the, uh, on the cockpit, on the uh, panel wall. I noticed too that this aircraft has a Dynon glass panel is it in it. Will that be standard? The Dynon glass panel is standard. Uh, it's got the uh, D100 uh, uh, EFA system and the D120 EMS system, and that will be standard on this aircraft. How about autopilot, things of that nature? Will that be available in this aircraft? Yes, uh, we are working with uh, TrueTrack at the moment. Uh, we currently don't offer it as an option, uh, but give us a few months. Uh, and you know our record, uh, Rob. We like to turn up with things done. <laughs> and uh, uh, give us a few months, and we'll, we'll be able to add that to the, the options list. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. And let's talk a little bit about the history of this design. This aircraft, like several of the aircraft that uh, came from Eastern Europe for the light sport segment back in 2005, and since then, is based off the Microlite concept in Europe. Now, Microlite holds a very different definition in Europe than light sport does here, in that there's a lot more opportunity to go quite a bit faster. <laughs> That is correct, Rob. Uh, the uh, Microlite category has uh, 450 kilos of max gross weight. It's 472.5 if you fit a parachute to it. And uh, as long as you fit underneath that max gross weight, you can go as fast as you like. <laughs> and uh, this airplane uh, holds the uh, uh, speed record for a Rotax powered airplane at 150 knots. Now that's the VL3. That's the VL3, yeah. The, the VL3 has got a smaller wing and it's got retractable uh, gear and it's also got a, a, a variable pitch propeller. Uh, we fell in love with the design when we came across the Coberts and um, uh, Gobosh actually made the initial investment in the d uh, development of the uh, wing molds for the new wings. These guys developed the new wings and they developed them specifically to meet and push the limits of the LSA rule. So this airplane is 120 knots, it's 45 knots stall speed, 1,320 pounds gross. Of course we got rid of the retractable gear, we got rid of the, uh, the uh, variable pitch propeller and we have Americanized the cockpit and the panel and uh, bring you what you see today. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. 
the Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Well, you've managed to make a very impressive introduction into what's an increasingly crowded market, so you're definitely setting yourself apart in the regard that you've actually had some aircraft. You've got an aircraft in a flight school, mm -hmm. you were telling me, a, a G700 again. That's right. And as far as the 800 XP, are you looking at the training segment or are you looking more towards the private buyer? Uh, for the 800, we're looking more towards the private buyer. Uh, the uh, 700 is uh, better equipped to take uh, with steel landing gear, uh, and uh, it's just it's just a rugged, tough uh, airplane that's uh, very easy to fly, and that's uh, very well suited to flight training. The 800 is uh, for those who with a little bit more finesse, and uh, uh, you know, it's just a it's just a, a better cruising airplane. <laughs> You're making some advancements still in the design before. The airplane is officially put on sale. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, this airplane is for is for sale, okay. uh, but uh, we are uh, making uh, some changes. This is our uh, first production airplane, serial number uh, one of the uh, Light Sport air airplane uh, um, 800, and uh, we're going to change uh, the seat position a little bit. We're also going to change the panel and the way it looks. Uh, make some refinements on the labeling on the panel. Uh, we're changing the uh, wheels to uh, standard 500 by five. Putting Macco brakes uh, on the airplane, and then uh, we're uh, just going to explore everything to make sure that it's easy to maintain and easy to look after. Uh, make it a good, uh, good airplane for a customer to own. All right. Well, uh, in accordance to your uh, very name, go big or stay home. And I don't see you guys staying home very often with the two aircraft designs that you have available now. No, uh, we uh, we don't like to sit on our hands, and we like to uh, like to work hard and keep keep going. <laughs> Dave Graham with Go Bosch Aviation. Dave, thank you very much for your time.